have seen the structural modification after translation of the proteins and uh, protein sorting and the development. Now let's talk about uh, this. Uh, let's talk about. Yeah. protein degradation. So if you want to talk about protein degradation, we have to talk about the complex that helps to degrade those proteins and the name of this complex is the proteasome. So what do you mean by a proteasome? Proteasome is a protein degradation complex. So what it means, it degrades proteins, it, it breaks proteins up into smaller pieces, into, into amino acid sequences and all those smaller pieces. So giant proteins comes in, so the giant protein comes in and small part of it, an amino acid, comes out. So you finally make the small part of the protein. And those amino acids are further taken up via different anabolic pathways to make other proteins and to make other products, for example. Okay, so what is the proteasome complex? In this case, you can see here is this. So what we have, we have a protein to be degraded. So most of the time, some proteins which is uh, functionless for some time and which is not needed for the cell to carry on, and they put this pro protein to this deep proteasome complex. And then to 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 put these proteins into the proteasome complex system, it need to it needs to be marked again. So in this case, how it can be marked? It is marked with simple proteins called ubiquitin. So the small proteins is called ubiquitin, and this protein. Uh, proteins are attached with the normal protein or the big protein which is has to which has to be degraded and attaches uh, with uh, the proteins to be degraded and finally make a poly ubiquitin chain and when it make the poly ubiquitin chain after making this poly ubiquitin chain we have the ubiquitinated protein and this ubiquitinated protein is finally enters the proteasome system and how they can enter the proteasome system and the proteasome system is a complex of different mo protein molecules it is actually made up with three different types of protein uh, system molecules. Normally, it is 90s and 20, 220s and 190s subunit which binds together to make this proteasome complex. And in this proteasome complex, what we are seeing, we are seeing leads are there. So, in the, in the opening portion, we have a lead, and the bottom, we also another, we have another lead. So, the uh, the opening portion of the lead of the mouth opens up when uh, the protein with ubiquitin binds with it, and finally it it cleaves off, and then the protein comes in. And when the protein enters into this proteasome complex, then protein is degraded. How the protein can be degraded? And remember, the chaperonin proteins or the chaperon proteins. The chaperon protein helps this uh, normal a secondary structure of the proteins to make uh, them together, to arrange them together to make a tertiary structure of protein to provide, uh, by providing the suitable environment for protein folding. The same thing or uh, against uh, of that same thing is doing in this case of this proteasome. So inside this proteasome complexes, these are also acting as chambers and this in this chamber what they are doing, they are actually providing an environment, an, an environment which is, uh, or it, it gives or it triggers and structural instability in the protein. For example, if we have a protein charge distribution, we have a charged protein, if we have a negative charge in the outside of the protein or the positive charge of the outside of the protein, then it repels, it, it makes some, some kind of interaction with that protein charges that they can break down that protein parts. If they can break down those protein parts, uh, into smaller pieces via providing a simple environment. So the environment or, or the protein inside, so the proteins which make this uh, proteasome complex, uh, the inside of the, those proteasome complex will have some different residues, different moieties, and those different residues uh, can can attach to that those protein uh, or, or interact with the outer layer of those protein. And by uh, by interacting with the outer layer of that protein, it can interact with that protein and eventually leads to leads to the broken bre breaking of those proteins into smaller pieces. After breaking into smaller pieces, it makes a fragments of proteins like that. And these fragments of proteins are released, and some enzymes are can de can degrade these proteins and into smaller pieces, which which is eventually amino acid. And a cell can take this amino acid for different purposes. It take in different catab uh, different anabolism purposes. We use ATP to make different molecules. Uh, with it. So it uses ATP, it uses amino acid to make uh, the several different components of the cell via the metabolic pathways. So we, we have uh, ended up with the final layer of protein degradation. So we have make a journey in this total eukaryotic system from the chromatin range to the production of protein. So as we have seen, there are several different spots of make of molecular switch. So several different spots of regulating all these steps uh, via, via different ways. And through all these steps, to, so, so in case of making a protein, it is really tightly controlled steps. So not only it is controlled by one region, it is controlled by multiple regions of this linear structure of uh, 